What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we start the Gauntlet series for the Bose Quiet Comfort 2s. Their first opponent uh, in this series will be the Bang & Olsen B.O. Play EXs. So we're, we're starting uh, right at the top, all the heavy hitters. So let's get started. All right, we're back in. Gauntlet series for the Bose Quiet Comfort 2s. First up. Is the Bang & Olufsen B.O. Play EXs. First off, let's talk price. The B.O. Play EXs, they come in at $399. Uh, you can get them on Amazon as well as the uh, Bang & Olufsen website. As for the Bose, they come in at $300. You can also get these on Amazon as well as the uh, Bose website. As usual, I will go ahead and leave links in the description so you can take advantage of these prices. So let's continue. All right, let's talk specs. For the BO Play EX, they come with Bluetooth 5.2. They support Codex AAC, SBC, and APTX adaptive. They do have an adaptive ANC technology uh, with the in the earbuds. As far as battery life, you can get up to six hours with ANC on on the earbuds, up to eight hours with ANC turned off, and up to 20 hours uh, when you include the case. Uh, the case does support quick charge. Uh, 20 minutes would get you about an hour or 45 minutes of playback time. And, of course, the case uh, supports wireless charging. As far as water resistance, the earbuds are rated at IP57 dust and waterproof, meaning these can be submerged. Uh, I haven't tried it. They're 400 bucks, and I'll probably more likely will never do that <laughs> with these. All right, as far as special features... They do support fast pairing, and they have multi-point uh, pairing and connecting uh, with them. All right. And now switching over to the Bose Quiet Comfort 2s, they have Bluetooth version 5.3. They only support Codex AAC and SBC, so you don't get the high APTX uh, Codex with these. They do have the industry's best noise canceling. Uh, and I'd, I'd say with res, with an argument with respects to the one the Sony one uh one thousand XM fours, but uh the more I use them, yeah, they have the best ANC on there. All right, as far as battery life, with the earbuds, you can get up to six hours, up to twenty four hours uh, when you include the case. The case does support quick charge. Twenty minutes will get you two hours of playback time. However, the case does not support wireless charging. You can only charge with the USB-C port via cable. The, as far as water resistance, the earbuds are uh, rated at IPX4. Um, there is no uh, special features as far as multi-point or anything like that when it comes to these earbuds, but still very solid. So let's continue. All right, let's go ahead and pull one of each of these out so we can take a look at the how they look. Obviously, you've got, whoops, that one closed on me. Let me go ahead and grab that. All right, this thing just does not want to stay open for whatever reason. All right, so as you can see, we got two totally different form styles. Uh, I guess, you know, obviously the EXs are a pencil style earbud. Um, they got the ergonomic uh, uh, shape to where the backwards fits into your ear, and they are very comfortable uh, once you have them in. And of course, you got the uh, Bose. They have their whoops, dropped it. They have the unique uh, sort of pencil style, but it, they completely redid, remodeled it. They went and went back to the drawing board with, as compared to the uh, original uh, Quiet Comforts. They went a totally different way. Um, I do like these. I like, I do like the style. I do like the way they fit in the air. And uh, just the shape doesn't really bother me too much. Obviously, I, uh, you know, and you got the big, the big long uh, boom mic pencil style with these guys. But you know, uh, still a chunky earbud, but not as chunky as the original. Uh, let's go ahead and. Pull some pictures and so you can take a look and see what these guys look like in the ear. Let me grab my phone here. Let's see. First, we got the Bose Quiet Comforts. This is how they look in the ear. 
Uh, very, like I said, it doesn't take up a lot of the air well, but they do got the twist and lock with the fins. And I like the fact that they went ahead and switch instead of having a one piece uh, for the fin and ear tip, they went and made them two separate pieces so you can mix and match. Uh, again, a very uh, comfortable earbud, earbud despite the uh, overall size of it. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the BO Play EXs. This is how they sit in the air. Again, not taking up a lot of the air well, but uh, still a nice comfortable fit with the uh, stock ear tips. Uh, and, and of course you got the boom, the long arm for the, uh, microphone for, uh, for when you're on the phone or anything like that. Uh, again, another very light, I was, like I said, Soundcore got me into liking, uh, pencil style earbuds. And this one basically drove it home for me. All right. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and. We're going to, let's see, what else am I missing? I'll make sure I'm missing anything. I'm not missing anything. No. All right. So what we want to do is we want to get these paired up and we're going to go and take a look at their apps. So stay strapped in. All right, we're back in. We got the BO Play EXs all paired up. So let's go ahead and jump into their app. As you can see, you got the name of the app at the top. You got the picture of the app of the earbuds and the case. As far as, uh, what, as far as the, uh, battery levels with the earbuds, they only give, they give you your exactly how much time or approx approximate time left. You have to use the earbuds and the case is the only one that gives a percentage anymore. That was a change in the update that they just went through recently with the EXs. All right, moving on. You got your, uh, your surroundings, uh, what they is what they call it. You got your noise canceling. You got transparency and neutral. Of course, with noise canceling and transparency, you can uh, have this dial. Oops, sorry. Uh, you have this dial here that you can dial back and forth. The pressure. Why do I keep doing that? All right. And then, of course, you got the same thing with transparency mode. And, of course, neutral is neutral. And then down here, the, you got your adaptive ANC. is a toggle switch. You can turn that off and on. If you turn that on, and, of course, you lose your... Uh, you, you lose your slider because it will do it automatically itself. And then, of course, moving down, you've got your uh, your your listening modes. Okay, you all you got your presets. Then, of course, you have your equalizer here. You tap on here, and you can make your adjustments here. We're going to put this one on test because we want to see how it sounds. Uh, but you know, we just going to go back. I got a. Yeah, we put it on test. There we go. All right. So now it's on test instead of my own personal EQs. That way we're seeing how it sounds naturally when we do our test. Of course, then you got your call settings. You can set it to, um, to, uh, for your voice. So that way, uh, you're, they, you're coming through clear to the other person on the end of the line. Of course you got neutral and noise canceling. And of course you got your dial, your slider where you can dial back the strength or increase the strength. All right. Now moving on, you got your automatic standby. You hit that, that gives you like 15 minutes. If there's no uh, usage of the earbuds in 15 minutes, they will go ahead and uh, turn them off just to save battery life. All right, if you hit your three dots up here, you can go down into product settings. You got Bluetooth pairing, obviously. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can get that close enough where you guys can see it. There. These lights are washing it out with this back with the uh, white with the white backdrop. All right, so you got Bluetooth pairing, then you got product settings. You go into product settings, you can uh, replace the case. You can up you know do a case uh, update. Then of course you got the name of the earbuds, which you can always change the name. Then you have software update. Then you can, can you know choose the color of your product. And then it's about, then if you want to just remove the product altogether, you can go ahead and remove that. I failed to mention this bar here at the bottom, which will go, which will always be at the bottom, no matter when you switch through, this is your, uh, audio player. If you tap on it, it will take you into your audio settings here. You got your play pause in the center, skip and reverse track. So on the either side and this 
round the circular option is your volume. So you can move that around to increase and, de and decrease your volume. And then of course, you know, it will then go back to the setting that you wanted to. I liked how it does that automatic. It's pretty cool. And then when you don't fit, you just minimize it down and it stays down there. Unfortunately, they don't give you the uh, reverse track option in that, but let's move on. All right. So then of course, down here at the bottom underneath that, you got a, a, a little task bar, so to speak. You tap on this one. You got multi uh, room options, which is if you have other uh, uh, banging all of some devices, you can utilize that. And then you move on to the next one. You got your uh, music, your Dizzler, where it is a streaming service that you can use uh, through the app to play music up to 73 million tracks. Then, of course, if you move on to the next one, you have your be your radio stations. Uh, basically any of your local radio stations, they can stream. If they have streaming, so they can stream it right through your phone into your earbuds, which is pretty cool. You got to be in no radio. Then you also have tune in, which will also include AM and FM stations. All right. And that is a quick walkthrough of the, uh, Bill play, uh, the Bangalore app for the Bill play EXs. We don't go ahead and get these swapped out and we'll take a look at the Bose uh, app for the be of the quiet comfort too. So stay trapped in. All right, we are back in. We've got the uh, Bose quiet comfort twos already paired up. So let's go ahead and jump into their app. All right, searching for me and we're connected. Bang. Let's jump in. All right. As you can see, it's a pretty straightforward, uh, app. I like the, the simplicity of it. You got your picture of your earbuds. You got the uh, battery levels of each left and right earbud. If we go up here into the upper right and hit the gear, you can go in and change the name of the earbuds. You can, they got, you know, product tips. You got fit tip, you know, fit tests, ear tip fit tests. You got stability bands where they tell you about them. And then of course you got your Bluetooth connections. You tap on that, it will tell you uh, what you're currently attacked connected to and everything else you have to pair, have it paired to that you can switch through, but you can only be connected to one at a time. No multi-point functionality with these earbuds. And of course you've got all your other information, like your product controls. Uh, you got your sound modes and equalizer. Everything that I'm gonna show you here is on the main page. So then you got your preferences and in, in ear detection, voice prompts, and technical information and common questions. So as you said, you go back out to the main page, you have all those options here. Of course, you got your volume slider. You can move it up and down however you like. You got your modes, you tap on it. You can go into quiet mode, you can go into aware mode, and you can create up to four different modes um, uh, in this setting. Right now I have it on quiet, uh, but I haven't gone through and created any new modes yet. Um, then of course you've got your source. Like I said, I showed you before, it will show you all the uh, devices that you're paired to including the one you're currently connected to again, no multi-point, uh, functionality, uh, with the laptop, with these, uh, with the laptop, listen to me with these earbuds, then you got your equalizer. You can do, you know, you got three, you got four presets here, but then you can also make adjustments of your own liking. Uh, you can leave it as is, you know, you can just do what you want to do with it and everything like that. Then of course you got your bass boost, bass reducer, treble boost, treble reducer. And I just leave mine. I just like mine just somewhere in there. I like that. So we're going to leave it there. All right. Then of course, then you got your shortcuts. This will tell you, um, how to utilize your earbuds. Uh, as far as your left and right earbuds, as far as touch panels and stuff goes, you can also switch it off. So if you don't want to use the, uh, the touch controls, you can go ahead and turn it off altogether. Um, it's very nice, you know, it's a very, very nice, uh, feature there. And I like the touchpad there. Of course, then you can slide it up and down to increase and decrease volume. Then of course you got your tips basically, you know, on how to utilize everything with the earbuds, as far as your voice assistant, all the touch controls, answering and then, uh, ending calls and rejecting calls, your noise canceling, and also charging, uh, the earbuds with the, uh, with the case. So 
that is a quick rundown of the Bose Quiet Comfort uh, app. So what we want to do next is we want to go ahead and uh, do a mic test, then followed by a sound test, and then, well, then we'll be back with the sound test. I'm just getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Stay strapped in. This is a mic test with the VO Play EQs in a semi quiet location. This is a mic test with the VO Play EQs in a semi quiet location. This is a mic test with the Banger Orison VO Play EX in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Banger Orison VO Play EX in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Bose Quiet Comfort 2s in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Bose Quiet Comfort 2s in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Bose Quiet Comfort 2 earbuds in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Bose Quiet Comfort 2 earbuds in a crowded location. All right, we're back in. We got the BO Play EXs already paired up in, in the ears. And a uh, quick uh, uh, disclaimer the BO Play EXs did recently get an update that improved the uh, bass and overall volume on the Airbus. So I'm excited to have these guys go up against the Bose and see how they match up. Now, right now, as I do normally, the, it's on set to uh, natural bass sound, no EQ help whatsoever. So without that, with that being said, rather, let's get into it. First up, we're gonna do uh, Run's House. Let's get it. Okay, we got, ooh, okay. All right, we here to play today, all right. I, I like that bass coming out of them now. Oh, yes, and it moves from left to right, oh, yes, okay. All right, the EX has come to play today. Now you got, now mind you, I'm not at, I'm not at 100%, but it's very, you get very good uh, overall volume. The vocals are crystal clear. And now that you got the bass, oh, these, yes. Very, oh yeah, just, oh, yes, yes, absolutely. Uh, full disclosure, guys, this is the first, I did the update, but I wasn't listening to music with them. I was uh, testing another uh, set of earbuds, but I did do the update to them. And I uh, just did the update, put them back in the case. And, uh, and and uh, continued on. So this is sort of like the first time I've listened to them after the update with the new bass on it and naturally sounding. It, yeah, okay. I, I'm I'm very I'm, I'm very happy about them now. I complained about them in the past when I first did the unboxing about how flat the bass sounded, but I'm truly impressed with them as of right now with that new update and the bass on it. It's, it's a great sound, great, great sound. I'm very happy with it. All right, so let's go ahead and jump onto, um, uh, we're doing this a little backwards here. Let's go ahead, we're gonna jump into uh, Lenny Kravitz so we can get some uh, instrumental. All right, here we go. All right. Good, you, great sound, great sound separation from the instruments. Sounds really good. All right. Again, crisp vocals. Just the overall sound is really good, man. Oh, uh, just. Yeah, I'm very, I, I really like the sound on these guys. I, I'm very, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with the update. Uh, nice. You got great sound separation. Just a good vocal uh, clarity. It's just a really good sound. Really good sound on these. All right, so let's press on. We'll go into Kenny G going home. Let's go. All right. Again, you got that good warm sound. And that lead saxophone is so crisp. Um, 
man, I'm very, um, I can't say enough how impressed I am with these now with the update. They sound so good with that bass. They just a really good sound in earbud. And I love this. You got good, nice, uh, the sound separation is great. You, and you sound like you're, you're in the concert hall. You're sound like you're, you're right there. Maybe, th maybe three rows back or something. You're like right there. It sounds so good. All right. Let me just a great sound, man. All right, I could listen to that all night. I could listen, literally listen to that all night. That's a really, really great sound uh, from these Airbus. And I, <laughs> I, I, I've always complained. I said they had potential. The potential is being realized with these beat to play EXs. I'm so happy for it. All right, so uh, what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and get these guys switched out. We will get the bolts up into the sound test. So stay strapped in. All right, we're back in. We got the Bose Quiet Comforts already paired up and in the ears. So let's go ahead and jump in. Actually, let's make sure our volume is where it should be. All right, where we should be. Let's go ahead and jump into Run DMC. Before I do that, I'm just letting you know I have it on noise canceling. And it is like, I hear nothing. It's just fantastic, uh, top tier, above top tier noise canceling. I hear nothing at all. I have my TV in the background um, as a noise reference. And it, I put these in and I hear nothing at all. It's top notch. These are king of the mountain when it comes to noise canceling. All right. All right. All right. Let's get into the music. Runs house. Let's go. Oh, okay. Very loud. Very loud. Okay. Woo. Okay. All right. That bass is really punching, man. Okay. Now you got great bass. It's really punching, but it's not. But the vocals are not as clean. Then, not as clean as on the uh, be a play EXs. But, well, man, that you get very. You get better at top uh, overall volume because these are very loud and I'm not even at 100. I'm, all right. Okay. They get very loud. <laughs> they get very loud. And I have to say I'll contribute that also to the, the noise canceling aspect of it because you hear nothing but music. Uh, and like I said, I'm now at 100%. And these things are very loud. As far as, uh, like I said, the bass, it punches. Um, and but as said, as far as the vocals go, the overall, uh, they're not as they're good, but they're not as clean as on the Bo Play EXs. Um, so let's go ahead and move on to our next song. Um, let's see, let's get on to it. We'll go to uh, Lenny Kravitz. Let's go. Again, very good sound. Very volume wise, very loud. And you get good separation from the instruments here. But again, the vocals are not as crisp. Okay. The all right, very good sound. Man, I could rock with this, but. All right, I, I, very good sound. Like I said, the overall volume, um, oh, just, it's just, they get very loud. They get very loud. Um, again, same as the first song, not as crisp as far as the vocals are. You got good bass. Uh, the separation is good, uh, but man, just overall volume. These guys crank it out. All right, so let's go ahead and get over to Kenny G. 
All right. Again, very loud. Got good bass. A little, you know, from the keyboards. Like you can hear, you can tell you're on the key. They're utilizing the keyboard here. And you got the kick drum from the drum set. The uh, lead vocal, lead saxophonist, rather, Kenny G himself. The saxophone doesn't sound, it sounds good. But not as good as, not it's not as crisp as the EX. So, But it does sound good. It's a good sounding earbud. Uh, I just love that song. Um... It's a good sound. Like overall, it get loud, man. They get really loud. All right. Uh, but like I said, uh, the vocal, the instrumental, the lead instrumental was not as crisp. It was a good sound overall, good sound, but just not as crisp as on the uh, BL Play EXs. All right. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and get this all cleaned up, and I'm gonna come back with my final thoughts. So stay strapped in. All right, we're back in with my final thoughts. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, for the first step, or uh, episode one of the Gauntlet series for the Bose Quiet Comfort 2 earbuds, their first opponent would be the, is the Bang & Olsen B.O. Play EXs. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Allergies is just killing, killing me right now. All right, so overall, both of them have r really good sound. Uh, I do love the fact that uh, the noise canceling on the Bose Quiet Comforts uh, twos, rather, they um, they they are so it's really good and it really enhances the overall sound uh, when you're listening to the earbuds. Uh, but however, the the Play EXs, I'm sorry, I'm fumbling over my words here. The EXs. Uh, they have a more crisper, more cleaner, more clearer sound when it comes to vocals and uh, and your mids and treble. Uh, and then, of course, they got an update which uh, which enhanced, which uh, gave them great bass. Uh, so they, like I said before, they're living up to their potential. So um, if I had to uh, choose one to go with, uh, I would definitely. Um, it's tough, uh, but I'm gonna have to go uh, with the Bo Play EXs on this one. Uh, putting all the uh, other uh, features aside, just basically basing it on just pure sound, I would definitely go with the. I wouldn't say definitely. I would just go with the uh, Bo Play EXs. I think these would be the better choice for me. Um, when you comparing the two, if I had to choose one to. Uh, to to go with all day, I would I would definitely um, pick the uh, the Bo Play EXs. Not taking anything away from uh, the Bose, they do sound great. Um, and then, like I said, they got uh, the best noise canceling in the game. Um, but you know, as far as sound wise, uh, I would go with the uh, EXs on that one. All right, so. This has been the uh, first episode of the Gauntlet series for the Bose uh, Quiet Comfort 2s. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit the like button uh, here at the bottom. If you want to join me on this journey, uh, I'd like for you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell. Uh, I haven't mentioned this in a while, but 90% of my viewership which I'm very appreciative of are not subscribers. So if you are one of them and I get it, sometimes you just want to watch and you don't want to subscribe. I understand it. I get that. Uh, sometimes I'm guilty of that, but if you want to um, be no, you want to be notified and be one of the first ones to see the videos when they come out, uh, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Then hit the notification bell. That way you're notified. I really, I'm, Really trying to grow the um channel so we can include uh add more things in um like speakers and uh, uh tablets and things like that. Eventually down the road we will get there. I I have that vision already uh in my mind, so it's going to happen now that I done uh actually got this off the ground. 
<laughs> so, and again, thanks for coming out and checking out your boy. Uh, I really enjoy doing these and I really enjoy doing these with you guys. So, uh, oh, one more thing you can read, you can follow me at Twitter and Instagram at Ron on tech. Uh, feel free to follow me there. I'd usually put, uh, and from, I'll usually put notifications out on those channels to let you know when video new videos are coming, uh, coming up or anything like that. So follow me on either one or both of those channels. I much appreciate it. All right. So again, thanks again for coming in and hollering at your boy. This has been episode one of the gauntlet series for the Bulls quiet comfort twos. EXs get the win. See you in the next one. Peace.